NASCAR is exploring running a race at Dodger Stadium. NASCAR runs one race in a stadium and all of a sudden we're going to put tracks in all the stadiums. Well, before everybody freaks out, we're not entirely sure if that means in Dodger Stadium or around Dodger Stadium. Obviously, Chavez Ravine, Dodger Stadium, sits in the middle of an asphalt wonderland. There's a ton of space to build a racetrack around there. So the idea of maybe putting a track in Dodger Stadium, that might not be the, the end goal here. Of course, NASCAR did say that they will have a race in Southern California in 2025. At least that's what NASCAR president Steve Phelps said before the Daytona 500 when he was talking to Chris Myers at Fox Sports. Where will that race be? Eh, who knows? Ben Kennedy said they've looked at up to a dozen different sites in Southern California to host a race. I know fans are clamoring for Long Beach. I don't think that's going to happen. Of course, there is the opportunity for that to happen in the future. I just don't think 2025 is the year for that. Outside of that, though, now, according to Adam Stern of the Sports Business Journal, the sport has talked to Dodger Stadium about hosting a race. And again, does that mean a short track within Dodger Stadium? Does that mean a road course setup, a street circuit in the parking lot? Think a lot about the Miami F1 race, which is an F1 track in the parking lot around their NFL stadium. Or do we see something that maybe we haven't seen before? A temporary short track set up in a parking lot and they build grandstands around it. Think about the Daytona battle at the beach when they used to have that on the backstretch at Daytona during speed weeks. I think all of these options are up in the air here. And I kind of drew out a few of them on Google Maps because who doesn't like to do that? I will say that Bozzi, he, if you don't follow him on Twitter, definitely go give him a follow. He's one of the best out there. He drew up a potential oval that they could put inside of the stadium. And honestly, even he mentions it would be really tight. We're talking about a fifth mile oval. It's smaller than what we had at the LA Coliseum. And I honestly just don't think that's going to work, especially not for a points paying race. If this were to remain a points paying race, of course, I think that NASCAR's best bet is to try to do a street circuit style setup in the parking lot around. Dodger Stadium. You can incorporate Dodger Stadium as the backdrop. Like I said, there's tons of asphalt out around there where you could potentially have an interesting setup. And at the end of the day, you want to stay in that LA market, putting a racetrack at Dodger Stadium makes all the sense in the world. You can have these great backdrops of LA in the background. You can recreate that Paul Walker scene from the beginning of Fast and the Furious. You're going to get great Phenomenal golden hour footage, assuming that they race towards the evening hours in Los Angeles. Everything about it makes a lot of sense if they were going to do it. So, like I said, I drew up a couple different ideas here. One of them I'll start with is the potential to build a short track in the parking lot. So what is essentially lot two at Dodger Stadium appears to be pretty flat when I look at a terrain map, obviously not there, so I couldn't give you a great idea of if there's a big slope to it or not, but that would be the perfect spot to set up a half mile short track. I have it right here is four tenths of a mile. If you do that, you can run all 36 chartered cars or the open cars that we're going to enter. You can create a makeshift pit road a bit like Bristol or Martinsville, where you kind of essentially have it all the way around the racetrack there. I think that is a viable setup. You can build temporary grandstands around it. There's plenty of parking back down to the southeast and the southern portions of the parking lot area around Dodger Stadium. So that could be in play here. And I think the idea of potentially building a temporary oval in a parking lot is something that NASCAR already knows they can do. They know they can build a temporary oval, right? We've seen them do it inside the LA Coliseum now. Doing it in a larger capacity, obviously there's a quarter mile oval that they built inside the Coliseum. Moving that up to a half mile, that would be huge because that means if they do this, proof of concept wise, then they can take that around to other places, whether that be MetLife Stadium, Philadelphia, wherever you want to go with it, and they can do it. Is the cost going to be up there? Absolutely. Will they be able to make their money back? Yeah, assume they can uh, just based on TV revenue as it currently stands. Who knows what the future of that holds for now, but... I do think the idea of a half mile oval in the parking lot is actually kind of enticing here, but obviously you might want to work in the stadium a little bit. So I have an idea for a street circuit as well. All right, before we get back to talking about Dodger Stadium a little bit more, this video is brought to you by Lockdown Brand. Shirt on, hat on, you can get 10% off using the code BREAKHARD10 at checkout. There's also a link in the description below.
So my idea to incorporate the stadium would be to enter and exit the stadium, the actual ballpark, through the bullpens. And obviously this would take a lot of work and it would require tearing up the entire bullpen uh, on both sides of the ballpark here. But they could channel their inner Mexico City Formula One race and race into the baseball stadium. And again, this is going to take a lot of heavy lifting because baseball season, of course, runs from the end of March until October early November, especially for the Dodgers at this point, unless they, you know, flunk out of the playoffs like they always seem to do uh, late in the season. Regardless, you're talking about having to do this during a time period where it might just not be accessible. It would have to be like the second race of the season if you're going to do this because it would need time to go in and plant new grass, right? Put the new sod down, get that to seed, and then be ready for opening day. Plus, you would have to rebuild the bullpens as well. If you're able to do it though, it would look absolutely fantastic on TV. So the idea that I had here was to essentially draw up a 1.7 mile road course incorporating that southeastern portion of the stadium around the parking lot area as well as the parking lots to the north of it as well. Try to set up some passing zones. Obviously there would need to be some safety runoffs and everything else to be built in here, but I think that this is somewhat of a viable setup if you wanted to get a little crazy with it and incorporate the stadium because selling seats out in the stadium to see the cars come through the bullpens, enter, and then exit back out would be absolutely incredible to see. Of course, you're going to have to have some safety setups here because the track can't be super wide and then funnel down to go into the tunnel or the exits essentially because, well, we know NASCAR drivers and they're going to try to force each other out as they go through there. So the track can really only be as wide as the opening uh, of the exits to go through the bullpen right here but overall could be enticing i'm just saying nascar likes to take a little bit of risk now does this feel formula e-esque yeah sure it definitely does right but at least i didn't put in a bunch of chicanes for absolutely no reason and there's a couple there's a couple tight areas but for the most part maybe could be viable. Of course, again, I'm not taking into account any sort of elevation change that happens throughout the parking lot here because it's kind of hard to tell uh, without having an actual topography map here or anything like that. But it would look pretty cool. I also incorporate that tree line drive to the north side of the stadium, which is like kind of the, the entrance there, as well as kind of avoiding everything off to the western side of the track. That way they can use parking and it's easy to access uh, for fans and everything like that, and then use the other portion of the parking lot. Not incorporating the stadium, I also came up with another idea for that. This one checks in at about 1.9 miles and kind of incorporates a lot of the racetrack. Gives you two long straightaways, incorporates that tree line drive once again, like I mentioned, and you know, has a few different passing zones on it. It does basically cover 75% uh, of that circle around the stadium there, and it might not be as you know possible just because you need those entrance and access points, entrance and exits rather, for the fans to get in and out and taking up, I don't know, what appears to be 60% of the parking lot might not be the best idea I've ever had here for designing a racetrack. But if you're just looking at sort of how to incorporate a track around the stadium, this could definitely be it. I would absolutely love to see this happen. We'll have to wait and see kind of what NASCAR has in mind for this, but I do like the idea that they're exploring here. Because right now there's not a track in Southern California outside of Irwindale, and who knows if that's going to survive. I assume it could probably survive a nuclear war at this point because every time somebody threatens to tear it down, it just keeps on living. Kern County is too far out as much as we would all love to see a race there. Long Beach, probably not going to happen for 2025, and we'll have to wait and see what the future of that event and the possibility of NASCAR joining holds, although I do think it would be a bit of a disaster from time to time. I think racing around the parking lot of Dodger Stadium makes a lot of sense. I would absolutely love to hear Ben Scully call a NASCAR race around here just because I feel like he would be absolutely befuddled by it. But hopefully we get some more answers on this. Jordan Bianchi on the Teardown podcast this past week with Jeff Gluck said that he's heard a couple different things, but he didn't want to say anything on air, um, obviously because of you know the ongoing negotiations or NASCAR trying to figure this out. But if this is one of the things he heard, would absolutely love for this to happen. So let me know in the comments what you think about it. Like and subscribe to the channel. Follow me on TikTok at BreakHard, Instagram and Twitter at BreakHardBlog.